and welcome back to the channel on this video i have a special guest making his debut on the channel it's my friend ernie how are you doing ernie doing good mark how are you good and ernie brought along his electric xp trike brand new bike he's had it for how long or have you had it ernie? No, three days now three days wow that's spanking brand new yeah fresh off the bus. and in, you haven't had it for very long, but in the three days you've had it, how do you like it? Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, it's a total sapiens. All right. So let's go over some of the specs on the bike quickly, and then we'll give a little uh, first impression ride. So the electric XP trike has a 500 watt motor down in there. And that motor, though, peaks out at 1,092 watts, yes. which is pretty darn good. Uh, you yeah, know, for a 500. A kick. Yeah, for a 500 watt. And let's see, the newton meters of torque is 65 on the bike. And those tires that you see there, obviously three tires on a trike, those are 20 by 2.6 inch. Right there. And I should mention the controller. So the controller on this bike, it's a 48 volt, uh, the motor as well and everything. So it's a 48 volt. The uh, controller is a 20 amp controller on the bike. It's got uh, front and rear hydraulic brakes. And Uh, something else this bike has is that it has a differential axle, which means both wheels will turn with the motor. It's not just a one-wheel drive, it's two. And it has two parking brakes on it, which is kind of good for if you're worried about on any bit of a, a hill at all or any slope a little bit, you know, you can uh, use the double uh, braking there for that. Oh, yeah. So it has... A top speed of 14 miles per hour. Yes. And it has five levels of assist. Yes. I mean, it comes to you by default at 12 miles per hour, but you have to unlock the 14. Okay, so it comes at 12 miles per hour, as Ernie mentioned, and you have to unlock it to get a few more miles per hour. And of course, that's going to be dependent on uh, how big a guy you are yeah, weight and how much uh, weight not only the weight i should say the uh, uh conditions you know whether we're going against wind which today we do have a wind up so uh, we do have that the bike weighs 69.5 pounds i assume that's including the battery uh, yes. and the weight capacity on this bike though is an enormous 450 pounds wow oh, yeah. that's got to be one of the highest i've heard on a bike yeah, that'll that'll hold you and your girlfriend and your groceries. Yes. You'll get it all in one there, yeah. So uh let's see what else. Uh I think that's pretty much all the basics of the bike. And I should mention the battery, of course. That's a 48 volt uh 14 amp hour battery. Okay. As you see it right there. That's why they have to really charge it by a few days. Oh yeah, that's yeah, good. Isn't it? Nice, yeah, you can ride it for a while, can't you? On one oh, yeah. charge. Now you did add a couple of accessories here. I see you've added the uh, speaker. It's oh, a yeah. nice JBL speaker there. I have your jeans. Fits perfectly there, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Well, I had to zip tie it. You know, of course I had to cheat, but uh, I'm sure they have something for that later on. Okay, and then you've added. Uh, what do we got over here? Uh, that's a rope light. It's supposed to be for a uh, little shuffleboard things for outside use, but. Eh, a little bit of zip ties. Um, and how does that work for you? Oh, it works good. It's on its own separate battery power, so I can just click it on and off whenever I want. So it doesn't suck battery power from the bike. All right, and the bike has some nice uh, fenders on it. Oh, yeah. And you do the trick. And what about your light? So let's see what you got here. You got a. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure the uh, brightness of that headlight. How does it work for you? Uh, oh, it works good. It's a, it's a wide one. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. There we go. Now, what does the taillights look like? You got it? Is there a brake light and a? Uh, yes, there is. A, there is a brake light. All right. Let's get down here uh, and check that out. Okay, so oh yeah, there you go. Hit your brake again. Yeah. And that's both front and back brakes to do that. And then is the tail light? What's the light under the seat or uh, behind in the middle there? Uh, is I that think, maybe we're crazy. not seeing that because of the? Well, let's see. Yeah, it turns on with. That should be the. Uh, there we go. The tail yeah. light. Yes, yeah, so that turns on with the front light as well. Nice. That's nice. And that's a. What do they call this color? Do you know? Uh, Probably just silver. <laughs> so it looks almost like a metallic to oh, me. Oh yes, oh yes. It looks really, pretty really nice. nice. Really, really nice. This yeah. bike, I gotta say, actually looks nicer. It looks nicer in uh, person than uh, on uh, on video. Yeah. Now I it's got I got the uh, the uh, pre uh, not the premium package, but I got the bundle, which I think comes with the fenders. Right. And uh, it comes with a front rack. And it comes with two baskets, because a big one right here and a smaller one in this. Okay, so you just don't have the front uh, one on there? Yeah, I just don't have the front one. Okay, yeah, I I'll think... I'll probably have my 18 moment and put some on. Oh, gotcha. Now, I think that uh, they still have that package. If you buy it now, I think they still add some uh, okay. as part of a bundle. I will leave a link in the description for the bike. Okay. So if anybody wants to go and check it out. Yeah. Uh, and how about the price? Is it fourteen ninety nine? Right. The price is very affordable. Yes. Yeah. That that is yeah. a great deal for this bike. Yeah. My last trike I bought was a three five. And, wow. Uh, yeah. Really spent, but it was an import from California. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but uh, it was more like a low rider. This is more like traditional trike up. You know. And this basket uh, in the back there seems like it's a fairly good, fairly sturdy there. Oh yeah. And you still probably have to buy an insert. You know, like grocery-wise, you know. But yeah, All right. Well, Ernie is going to have me uh, take it for a spin. Oh, yes. And then give my uh, my thoughts on the bike. I'll do a, a little ride here and, a, and impressions uh, when I come back. Tell you what I think. So, Ernie, is there anything I need to know before uh, we go for a ride? Uh, Watch out, you may have too much fun. I might have too much fun. Well, I'm always having fun on e-bikes as I try to put my camera back on. Here we go. I'm always having fun on an e-bike. Yeah. All right. I think we got our camera set. So, uh, here we go. Now we have to turn it on. What do you do to turn it on? I didn't show this side of the bike, actually. Yeah, so like this little button right here. If for some reason you have to push that on first, before you turn the bike actual on. If you don't, the bike will turn on and right off the bat. Gotcha. So, is the power button on. This little okay, we right didn't on. look at the display. Let's yeah. check the display. Here we go. Yeah, it's simple, easy to learn. So, is this your mileage that you've done so far since yes. you got it? It's brand new. Look at that, just 27 miles. And uh, we've got, looks like a fully charged battery. Oh, yes. And uh, so we're going to pedal assist one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Yeah. So we'll give the pedal assist each level. I'll give them a try here. Oh yeah. And uh, see what we get. How's this bike for riding on the? Uh, do you ride it on the sidewalk or on the bike lane? Uh, it depends on who's on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh okay. And depends probably where you are. Yeah, how busy yeah. it is and I stuff. Mean, me personally, I don't trust bike lanes because cars tend to be crazy out here right and uh they're like i own the whole entire road even this little part so okay i feel suspension on yes. the seat post yes. that's really nice yes that is nice that is a real good feature about it so, so uh yeah anything, it doesn't look at that, that. Doesn't yeah. hurt you that much. no that that's pretty cool uh, if anything at all i haven't felt anything so i'll tell you that much so it's got a half twist throttle it looks like here yes it does okay yeah. so uh i'm just comparing each level to see for takeoff yeah you can yeah. see five goals has a little more okay right, right. let's go with number one to start out so i'll be back in a few minutes all right, all right, we'll, we'll take it for a spin you know it's going to take some getting used to this bike because i'm already trying to lean a little bit yeah yeah that was a problem when i had it too all right this yeah. is my first ride on a uh, trike uh, make sure there's no cars i'm going to ride down around over here 
so it is a gradual uh, takeoff I'm in pedal assist one um, this is tricky for me because I'm used to riding the two-wheeler not a three-wheeler and I'm on full throttle right now and uh, I'm wanting to lean different directions you know and so it's kind of funny uh, here I am uh, riding a bike that feels like the kickstand is down or something you know so uh, here we are in pedal assist one we're going at a top speed of about 11 looks like it hit up at about 11 miles an hour let's go to pedal assist two I'm not pedaling yet I'm gonna pedal on the way back so this is strictly oh yeah it's really weird when you take a turn because when you take a turn, you, you want to lean like you do on a two-wheeler and you don't lean. You just kind of go with it. So that would take some getting used to. So I'm not going to have enough room to get it up to Pelasys 3 and 4 right here and 5. So I will uh, do a turnaround and uh, go back the other way. Wow, this is weird. Yeah, I'm not used to the, the three wheels for the turning, so that's kind of weird to me. All right, here we go. Now we're in uh, pedal assist two. We're going up to three. I'm not pedaling yet. Uh, looks like we're a little over 12 miles an hour, 12.13 miles an hour. Whoa. I don't know what speed you should take turns at but it feels like a, I might be tip, tipping or something there all right here we go now we're at three now we're going a slight uphill I went to four pedal assist looks like we're getting a little over 13 almost 14 now we'll go to the last one whoops pedal assist five right there looks like we're clocking in at 13.6 13.7 okay let's go around one more time now I'm gonna go back to pedal assist one and this time I am gonna pedal so let's see what happens here. okay I think it's a single speed I, I didn't mention that earlier but it's a single speed and I think if it was me and it was my bike I'd want the seat up a little higher because my legs do feel a little bit cramped. But uh, I'm not going to adjust it right now. Now, yeah, you when you get up to pedal assist, let's see, pedal assist, that's pedal assist zero. Okay, one, two. I'll go back to one for a minute and see what that top speed is. Looks like 11... I don't want to go too fast on the turn. So 11 point. Well, let's just say about 11. So about 11 on pedal assist one. Now we're going up to pedal assist two. Looks like you can get it over uh, to 13 as I make a slight turn there. I'm going to go back one more time. So that's 13 on pedal assist two. Let's crank it up to pedal assist three. Nice straightaway here. Looks like 13.7 on pedal assist three. And I can feel my legs on that one. The single gear is not the greatest for uh, pedaling because you can't get you feel like you have to really pedal fast to keep up with it okay pedal assist four fourteen point seven miles per hour and we got one more to go and I can really feel my legs burning on that one okay because I really tried hard to get it to 15 so here we go in five should hit 15 
maybe I'm getting tired because I can't get it past 14.1. Alright, so there's one more thing I wanted to check, and that will be the brakes. Let's see what the takeoff is like here. Not bad. It doesn't jerk you out of your seat or anything, but you don't want that. Uh, I'm in pedal assist 5. And you get a speed pretty darn close to 14 miles an hour. And that's fast enough. That's a good speed. You just got to take it easy going on turns. I wouldn't go 14 on, on a turn. I would slow it down. Especially if you're a first time riding it and trying to get used to it. Yeah. I'm just going to check the brakes now. And we're going to test the brakes. And I'll get to the oh, straight away here. So let's check the brakes. All right. Okay, so we're full throttle. Oh yeah, it'll stop you pretty quick. That's good. Uh, I don't have a measurement on that, but it almost, you're not going overly fast, so it doesn't take, you don't need to really, you probably almost never have to slam on the brakes, but should you have to, you'll stop pretty quick. It's nice to have that seat post uh, suspension makes a difference I think this bike is a is a winner I kind of like it for a lot of folks out there that can't ride a two-wheeler for a variety of reasons and this bike with a capacity of 450 pounds I mean gee you could do your shopping and and uh, run errands and all that I don't know what it would be like riding it in the uh, riding it in the uh, bike lane though like uh, it's pretty wide I don't know the width exactly of the back wheels but all right so I'm gonna turn it back down to Catalyst is two. All right, so my conclusions on the bike, I guess I'll write it back over here. Put it back here. My conclusions on the bike is I think this is. I think this bike is worth the money and uh, something we didn't mention also is that the shipping is free. Is there something we're supposed to turn off on the battery? Okay, so uh, my overall assessment is I do like the uh, having the uh, seat post with the with the uh, suspension uh, that makes a difference uh i thought it was pretty good i got it up to 14.7 miles an hour so it'll basically almost do 15. that was pedaling with it it was just under 14 i think uh in just uh throttle and uh it's nice it rides nice the only thing that i'll say about it for me is that i have to be careful because i'm not used to riding it riding a trike uh go slow on turns yes. Yes. You got to really slow down. You don't want to go full speed on a turn because you're going to be. Yeah. And, and I'm so used to leaning with the bike right. that yeah, this one. That's, why, that's my thing. I like leaning. Yeah. Oh, there's Layla. Hello, Layla. So, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, overall, I like it. I think it's worth the money. And it does come already assembled, right? We just uh, have yes. to. Uh, 
unfold it. Yeah, this uh, this little black metal part comes pulled it down. You gotta unfold it. This comes attached to the wires, except for one, which saves uh, power. So you gotta plug it in manually. Okay. But yeah, it has a little like you know a meter to see how high you want your reach for this to go. So it looks. Uh, where does it fold down here? It looks like. Uh, yeah, it folds sideways here. Okay. And then the handlebar folds, you know, down. And gotcha. Down here. Yeah. Uh, so overall, I really like it. Yeah, yeah. It came, it came uh, fully assembled, except for you know you had to attach this and that. You didn't have to inflate the tires, even though the uh, unboxing video for the company says you gotta inflate the tires. You gotta center point the the front wheel. I didn't have to do any of that. All right. So maybe if anything, I gotta go back and maybe tighten the brakes a little bit, if that. But they feel tight as it is right now. So. All right. So, for me uh, overall, uh, I like it. I give it a thumbs up. But uh, I'm not uh, familiar too much with trikes, so right, right. I haven't got anything myself to compare it to. I've never ridden one, so it's the first time for me. But I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, it. It gets you from point A to point B. You yes. can take lots of. Uh, items in there because of the weight capacity and uh, I give it a thumbs up for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I will leave a link in the description if uh, anybody would like to comment on this video go ahead and leave a comment in the comments section and so that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank Ernie for bringing his bike oh, yeah, Mark, along on the channel to give us a, a little review and a ride on it a first ride impression. Uh, I like it and for the money uh, I think it's worth it. So if you uh, like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button and you'll be uh, subscribed and we thank you for doing that. And also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you'd like to leave a comment, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments section below. And as I mentioned, I will leave a link in the description for the bike. So if anybody is interested in checking out the electric XP trike, uh, we will uh, leave the link for you to do that. Once again, thank you, Ernie, for joining us on the channel, making your debut. And thank you all for joining me today. And until next time, take care.